everybody welcome back to my channel so for today's video i am going to be doing a haul this is a haul of some skincare products so i have a full basket little container thing of skincare and this is kind of like my everyday skincare products these are products that i purchased from tesco there are a couple of things in here that i won't show you today that i use in my skincare routine that I didn't buy from Tesco, but all of the rest of it that's in here, I got it all from Tesco in a range. It's called Skin Saints, that's what the brand is called, and it's all vitamin C, so this is their vitamin C range. If you don't know already, I am a big lover of vitamin C as a skincare ingredient. It makes your skin really nice and glowy and soft and yeah it's just radiant it just makes your skin look nice and i for years wanted to make my skin as matte as possible when i was younger and now i want to make it glowy so we've turned the tables even though my skin type is still the same i still have oily skin but i'm embracing my oily skin quite nice actually because it's like free skincare products like your skin is producing oils it's like free hydration and free moisturization I would recommend vitamin C to anybody and everybody. So let's start off with the products that I use in the morning as part of my morning skincare. So this here, which is again, Skin Saints, all of these products is from Skin Saints and all of these products are vitamin C, so I don't have to repeat myself. Um, but this is the Glow Skin Tonic and it said it's radiant boosting for skin. You get 100 ml of product in here and basically, the actual like top of the lid, you just kind of open that and then you pop product into your hand like that. So it's perfect to pop on cotton pads or things or you can just pop it straight into your hands if your hands are clean. And I just kind of pat it onto my skin. This says it's radiance boosting. I don't really find that it makes my skin glowy when I pop it on, but maybe it's kind of like a throughout the day type thing. But yeah, it doesn't make my skin overly oily, which I like, so it means that I can wear this underneath makeup and my skin won't get really oily throughout the day. Because I do like a little bit of glow, but I don't like it really glowy and shiny. So yeah, I like that. My opinion on it is, I'd say a 7 out of 10 because I personally don't know like what this product actually does. Like, is it is it good? I don't know. Like, I haven't seen results from this product. Then also in the morning, I will use this, which is the SPF 30 Replenishing Day Moisturiser. And this is a glow reviver for the skin. You get 75 ml. This I love using. I like a combo where you have your moisturiser mixed with your SPF because it's easy and it's quick. And it means that you won't forget to put SPF on on your skin, especially in the summer. This is something that's very important, but I also think throughout the entire year, you should do this as well. If you want to keep your skin nice and youthful away from the sun's rays. SPF 30 is a really decent um, sun protection factor because sometimes in products like this, it can be SPF 10 or SPF 15 and it's not enough. Like it needs to be higher. So I think SPF 30 is good and I like it. I do have another um, SPF that I do also use sometimes because a lot of the time my job, I am out in the field, um, in barley fields and the sun is gonna be directly onto my skin. So I will sometimes use an SPF 50 that I've got on my skin before I do my makeup just as that like extra barrier from the sun. But yeah, I really like this. It's got like a squeezy tube. It smells nice, all of these products smell the same and they all smell quite nice and it glides onto the skin really nice. So this is my morning skincare. I like to keep it simple because I don't want my skin to be too glowy throughout the day. Then for the evening time, first product that I will use is this. So this is the brightening eye treatment and you get 10 milliliters. And I was so pleasantly surprised when I opened this packaging because it's got like a little roller um, like thingy whatever it's called so you can just kind of roll this under your eyes and because it's metal it's so cooling on your eyes it's really nice especially in these summery months so i just use this under my eyes and kind of over my eyes a little bit and it just very evenly and gently disperses the product this is like a gel consistency rather than a moisturizing kind of thick you know product but it makes it really cooling and nice. So I don't know if this is like anti-aging or anything, but it says it's meant for brightening. Um, so I just like using it because it's fun. 
you know sometimes with skincare products for me it some of them can be a bit gimmicky but i enjoy doing it and it makes me feel good about what i'm doing and i just enjoy it so yeah next product that i then use after that one in the evening is i go back in with my glow tonic um, but I've already just spoken about this. I will do a skincare routine soon in a couple of weeks showing me using these products. So like the video if you want to see that. And comment down below if you want to see that just to make sure that I do it. Um, but today is just kind of a haul of the products. I have been using these products for a couple of weeks now. So I can give, you know, some kind of opinion on them. So then after I've done that, I will go in with this. Which looks kind of different to the other products. But this is the Illuminating Serum. Serum. And it says it hydrates and smooths the skin and you get 50 mil. This is really nice. So this feels really cooling on the skin. Again, it also feels quite hydrating. And I like how it has a like stopper bottle. So it is a pipette like this. And you can just pipette the amount that you want. You know, it's very easy to control how much of this product you're using. And I've just seen on the back, it says this product is suitable for vegans and it's cruelty free. I think every product should be cruelty free when it comes to makeup and skincare. There's no reason that that product should be tested on animals. You know, companies will do it to save money, but that is not a good enough excuse in my opinion. So yeah, that is good that it's not tested on animals, but yeah. I really like this and it's really nice and kind of hydrating to the skin. The, there's not that many words that I can use to describe all of these products because they all do very similar things. So I will be repeating myself a lot. Um, but in my actual skincare routine, that's when I would go in with my retinol serum. But I won't talk about this um, in this video, but that's the step that I would then do. Then once I use that, I then go in with this oil, which um, is also from that same range. And this is the Revitalizing Facial Oil. It says it's hydration for thirsty skin and you get 50 mil again. Now this is a pump. So you will pump it like this into your hand. I missed having an oil in my skincare routine. I went through a period of like a month where I basically just used moisturiser. I couldn't be bothered with anything. You know, I sometimes I couldn't even be bothered to take off my makeup properly. I just really couldn't be bothered with my skincare. And one product that I did really miss using that I did kind of notice my skin was not as good because I didn't have it was an oil. I love oil. I have oily skin, yet I will still use oils. I would never use this in the morning before makeup because I really would, like my face would just melt off and my makeup would just break away completely. But at night I will use this and it makes my skin so plump in the morning, so soft, so smooth. One of the things um, that it says it's hydration for thirsty skin, it really does plump your skin up. And I would recommend adding an oil into your skincare routine no matter what your skin skin type is. This is feeling like a very long video. Um, but then I will use this. So this is a moisturiser, but it's a nighttime moisturiser. It says it's an intensely nourishing overnight cream. And this has like a little kind of lily thing um, here and then you kind of take that off. This feels so rich on the skin. I see a lot of people, like a lot of YouTubers I watch, buying like extremely expensive moisturisers and they say it just glides onto the skin. Well, I get that same experience with this moisturiser and it was literally £4 from Tesco. So I would recommend it feels quite nice and thick. Yeah, it does blend in really easily and it makes my skin feel like it is getting the hydration it needs. It doesn't feel like I'm going to start getting any dry skin or anything like that. And yeah, it does just on top of all of the other products I've used, it just blends so nicely. Like I can't describe it, but it is one of the best moisturizers I've ever used for nighttime because it just goes so nicely with these products. So I don't know how it would be by itself, but with all the other products underneath, it does go on really nicely. We're nearly at the end, don't worry. Oh, I've got a message. Got a message. So it's my mum. And um, I'll press that in a minute, mum. Hello, mum. Um, but then I've got this spray. So this is the Refreshing Facial Mist and it says it's an on-the-go hydration for skin. Again, you get 100 mils in here. This to me is more of a gimmicky kind of product, but I still like it. I used to use this in the mornings before my makeup, but I found that my makeup wouldn't go on as nicely and would be a bit more streaky. So I just stick to this at night. It is refreshing because it is obviously a cold liquid and a spray, you know, in the summer it's nice. But I don't know whether this has any actual like 
cellular skincare benefits. It looked glowier on the skin, but there might be like glowy particles in here to make your skin look glowier. But whether or not it's actually benefiting my skin like internally or not, I do not know. But I do like using this and I would um, repurchase this because it does make your skin look like, like you've dipped your face into a gloss like a shiny shiny gloss but it's okay because it's at night time and I'm going to sleep and then the other product I got that does finish off my evening skincare routine I would just then go in with this Vaseline and pop some on my lips but that would finish off completely my skincare routine and um, the only other product that I purchased from the range is this it's an illuminating wonder scrub and it says it's re-energizing for dull skin. You get 75 mil and it's like a, um, it's like a squeezy tube and this is a great facial scrub. I use this twice a week and I just scrub it into my skin gently. You don't need to scrub really hard and it just kind of exfoliates away any sort of dead skin. I do also still use um, the Ordinary Peeling Solution that also exfoliates your skin. That's an acid. So usually people are either scrubs or they're acids because they kind of do the same thing. But I think acids are more effective and they are better for your skin than a scrub because this can cause micro tears. But I do just love a scrub. I just do. I like the feeling of my skin being just fully shiny um, and just so smooth. It does make your skin move move it makes your skin smooth um so yeah i do like this but yeah so that concludes my haul of everything from tesco i will show you my top two i think my favorite is the oil i really like this oil and i really like the eye product i just like this because it's fun to use and um, my least favorite product i would have to say is probably the tonic maybe or potentially the spray but i would still buy all of these products again if someone came and stole them all so yeah all of these all together came to about 30 pounds from um tesco so to me to get a full 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 skincare routine that's not bad that is not bad to pay for that so yeah, that is everything for my haul. Let me know if you've tried any of these products or like what your opinions are of them or whether you want to try any of these products. So thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video. It should be a tour of my new house and might be a cleaning video coming next week. I'm not sure, but stick around. Um, so give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.